Today, I'm going to apply a below elbow splint. The product of choice is Benicar Splint on a Roll, which is a pre-padded synthetic splint. It can be used as a primary or secondary treatment. This type of splint is extremely strong, durable and also washable. It is suitable for swollen limbs and can be removed for wound care, physiotherapy and personal hygiene. The products required for this application are one box of Benicar splint on a roll 15 cm, one or two Benicar cotton crepe bandages 7.5 cm and two small pieces of adhesive tape. Using the 7.5 cm Benicar cotton crepe bandage, measure the limb extending from the elbow to the metacarpal heads. Now use this bandage as a template to cut the splint. Position the bandage at the end of the foil pouch and cut the splint. Remove the clip from the end of the foil and put the splint to one side. I will now seal the pouch. This is very important as it will prevent the splint from setting within the pouch. Fold the splint over and then make a crease in the foil. Now take the plastic clip and slide along the crease. Ensure this is secure and airtight. Remove the splint from the pouch and position with the writing facing upwards. Please note this should be positioned away from the patient during the application. Cut along the padding exposing the splint. At the distal aspect, trim the splint to fit into the web space of the thumb and to fit a minimum of one centimeter within the padding. Now continue to trim the proximal aspect of the splint by rounding the edges. This is the shape you require. Place the splint back into the padding. You may wet the splint by using a water bottle, a spray, by running it under the tap or dipping it in the bucket. However, it will need to be wrapped in a towel to absorb the excess moisture if dipped into the bucket. Today, I am using a spray. Wet the splint on the side with the writing that will be away from the patient. After spraying the splint, fold over to penetrate the moisture through the splint. The padding will need to be trimmed to follow the template of the splint fitting a minimum of one centimeter within the edge of the padding. This is the template you are aiming for. Position the splint directly onto the limb with the white felt next to the skin. Mold into shape and secure onto the limb using the Benicar's cotton crepe bandage you used earlier to measure the limb. Ensure the splint is smooth and ridge-free during the application. Mould the cast to the contours of the limb and secure the end of the bandage with adhesive tape. Continue moulding until the splint has reached the initial set time and rest the limb on a pillow or soft table. The setting time for this product is 4 to 7 minutes, with functional strength achieved in 30 minutes. Check the splint on the limb. It should fit two fingers from the anticubital fossa at the elbow to the carpo-metacarpo joint on the base of the thumb and the distal aspect at the metacarpal necks. This particular splint does not appear to be long 
However, the splint is the perfect size for the limb. The felt is slightly longer to provide protection to the soft tissues. These edges may be folded back if preferred. Provide written and verbal cast care instructions for the patient. Sign up to the Benacare Academy. To download a PDF step-by-step -step application guideline of this tutorial and be the first to watch when we launch new videos. benacaremedical.com forward slash academy Connect with us on Facebook, Twitter and YouTube to see all our latest products, videos and competitions. If you require more information on our products and training, please visit our website benacaremedical.com